Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and today I have another jewelry bowl. I've been uh, working my way around the edge to get the tape off. It looks like a cut glass bowl, but they're more like raised bands on the outside of the bowl, so I don't know if it's got cut, cuts on the inside, but it's actually quite a nice uh, glass bowl. As you can see, it's large. There's two hands. Um, it's very heavy. So I remember what I was going to say there. So let me just adjust the camera. Well, I know when I take this uh, tape off, a whole bunch of jewelry is going to come with it. So let me do adjust the camera and we'll get right into it. So here I am taking off the cover and quite a few things have, are stuck right to the lid here. So let me, uh, Carefully pull them off the tape. Apologize for all the noise. There's a pretty earring. And some earrings on a, a card. Lots of necklaces stuck to the tape. Oh, and I never thought to say, this was um, $24.99 Canadian, less the seniors discount, which is 10%. I'm a young senior. Or oh, as they were calling it today, have you, are you a member, are you a, a graduated member of the School of Life? <laughs> so there's all the tape. And here is the first pile of stuff to deal with. And first we have in its own little bag what seems to me to be a rosary. I would assume it's plastic. These are always very useful to pass on to people who don't have it. So there's the, the corpus. And it's plastic beads on... Oh, nice same twine cord. So that'll uh, be very strong. And uh, as long as it's taken care of, it won't fall apart. So that's very nice, suitable for any age or, you know, a pink one wouldn't necessarily be used by a man. Here is a very small hide, I could say leather, but, well, bracelet with some markings on it and its own little fashioned clasp but look how tiny it is i mean it's <laughs> it's almost small enough to be uh, a napkin ring um it goes around my wrist almost so maybe five six inch wrist that'll definitely have to be passed on to somebody else so not, I guess you would just clean it with like a leather cleaner or soap and water. I'm not sure. Interesting. Um, there's a broken bag. Here's what looks like a dolphin. No, or not a dolphin. Well, it could be dolphin. It could be meant to be an orca. Pendant, uh, part of an earring maybe. Here's a set of earrings. Originally $16 marked down to $9.60, then down to $4.03 from Expressions. They have a good weight. Oh, it's missing one piece there. Okay, so pieces for uh, black garnet okay um, as the colors so pieces to repurpose I mean these could be yeah taken all apart and all the little there's lots of since there's loops on each different piece they can be rehung oh that one's missing a, a rhinestone too so I'm gonna take them right off the card and maybe save the little plastic things that can go in the garbage and right here, there's another earring, so we'll put it aside. This. 
Well, this is interesting. This is a stone. Not sure what it is. It's kind of green, black, gray. There's the back. And then someone's made um, a surround for it to enhance it. And that's actually quite nicely done. It's a little wobbly. I mean, there are other ways to do this than to do it with wire. Um, and there's a funny little gap down here at the bottom. And then it's on a silver tone chain that doesn't have a clasp. Okay, so pretty little stone. I will have to figure out or try to figure out what kind of a stone that is. Maybe it's dyed, so maybe it was just a piece of quartz with gray and black in it, and then they've added the green dye. I don't know. I, I, I don't recognize most stones. Um, amethyst, lapis lazuli, sodalite. Um, usually I can recognize Larimer. Um, so often corals, um, garnet, tiger eye, oh, things like goldstone and blue, um, the blue goldstone and, you know, those uh, things, but, uh, I don't really know what that is. An interesting research project for me and how's that on there? Oh, okay. So that's just attached to that chain with the ring. So that'll come apart pretty easily. I'm putting all the stuff to repurpose in a pile now this okay there's an earring there's I don't know what that is here's a pretty little necklace it's got a oh it's got a ring stuck in it okay so here's a little ring a little blue rhinestone and it says something inside C L R C C R C and something on the other side. I'm gonna turn upside down because I thought it said 925. Yeah, it says 925. And on the other side, okay. Focus, focus, hocus, pocus. No, that didn't work. Focus. <laughs> All right, there's the ring. We're trying to get it to focus. Ooh, there's some donkey stuff on there. What does that say? L. Is that a size like L R G L? Certainly looks like L R C. Um, so I'll have to see what significance those initials might have. I know if it was PRC, it would be People's Republic of China. So I'm not sure. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Hey, I never, I always forget to do this. No, it doesn't fit that finger. I have a granddaughter who would probably want this as a, since it's, if I test it and it's silver, she'll want it. It's a pretty little rhinestone setting. Okay. All right. Nice and nice and a couple nice things. And here is a statement necklace. Oh, I like this. This is, it's pretty. It's not, you know, over the top, but it's got bling. It's got silver tone chain. It's got an extender seems like someone made a rule that all modern jewelry requires an extender, even if it doesn't. But there we go. That's a very pretty necklace. And don't want to really give that away. It's great shape. It'd be great to repurpose as well. Make the small ones into earrings, the three large ones. Oh, all the things we could do, the places we go, the things we could do. That's what uh, Dr. Zeus says. Oh, this is interesting get it to focus on my hands maybe too much bling for it there we go oh it goes that way sorry there so rhinestones so on a wire 
well, this might be how. I had another thing like this that was broken, and I had no idea how it was supposed to. I thought it went and fitted back together that way. Maybe it's missing a clasp. So this is, um, I guess, what you should call a choker. Um, it's quite small. I suppose I could straighten it and figure out how many inches, but not worth it. But I love the rhinestones. And it's hard to get it to focus to tell me whether. But I guess I would see a gray spot if there was one missing. There we go. That's better. All the rhinestones are there. That's pretty. Oh, so two nice necklaces that were stuck to the top. A bracelet and what? Oh, another bracelet and... I think this is its matching necklace. Oh, oh, an earring. Another earring. Oh, cool. I don't very often do things like this. Oh, a two strand, two, three strand necklace. Okay, so here we go. There's the purple earrings. And it's just, a, you know, a plastic, lightweight plastic. Here are two stretchy bracelets with the... This is one, a wood piece. So it's kind of a nice accent, actually, the wood. And then here in the necklace, lobster claw, three strand, um, heavy, you know, illusion wire, but there's lots of stuff on the wire. So there's one little sort of wonky bit over there, but very wearable and some nice uh, wooden pieces. Why that one's different, I don't know. Oh, I guess there's just one wooden piece per strand. Why is that one different? Oh, well, we'll never know. Let's see. One, so some shell. These are either shell or plastic that looks like shell. Oh, come on, focus, there we go. It's hard, I mean, it looks really thick for shell. And then the rest of them are all plastic beads. Even the these things that feel like metal feel like plastic metal. So there's a big set that I can donate on and someone will have fun with. And yeah, I'm going to leave those single earrings for, for later when the match might show up. Okay, so let's take a handful out of here. I'm going to try to, this is going to take a little while. And I'm going to try, oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so I got, I got all interested in this necklace. So it's got these lovely rhinestone pieces and then the, the textured ovals and ball chain that goes up to one side of the clasp. So we come down to there. Then we have, okay, there we go. Lots and lots of chain, twist chain, twisted chain, or twisted rope chain perhaps. There's a knot in the middle, or a knot for some reason that may not really belong there. Here's the focus point there. So we get to the other side and there's a repeat of this nice blingy bit and the ball chain and the other half of the clasp. So if we were to, it's quite long, if we were to lay it out, um, 18, another, so probably 36 inches long. There it is, doubled up. If no one wanted to wear it, it's got so many repurposable pieces, all this chain, these little sections, all the ball chain. So I'm going to put it in with the good necklaces for now. But uh, I might swipe it to repurpose it. This is something in a bag. I, mean, I don't know. It's, it might be in the bag because it's broken. Oh, oh, first of all, there's a pair of earrings. Um, they look slightly different colors. Maybe not. 
They don't look like silver. They're very, very lightweight. Uh, nothing special there. So, pair of rhinestone earrings. It's our first pair. And also in the bag, there's obviously a glass pendant. And a piece of blue rubber cord. Okay. This is uh, dichroic glass. Oh, I guess I just need to touch my camera to get it to respond better. So there's some that lovely lime green with the sort of uh, aqua blue and the little gold specks. And then it's a dark green on the back. So that's quite nice. That's repurposable earrings. And this I will put with my kids' jewelry supplies because they can always string beads on there. And uh, we'll put a clasp on and they got a necklace. I'm going to just grab a little bag here for these earrings that match because I don't want to start mixing them up with the... Uh, all the other single earrings that we've got okay and oh another rosary so I won't take this out of the bag but a second rosary I assume it's in good condition so those will pass on oh I things I took out of the bag already that oh there you heard that there's some heavy metal in my future so this is uh, a uh, little pitted and worn. Let's see if we can see what the other side of the clasp looks like. Um, these always seem to get so twisted. Oh, they're... Um, anyway, it's peach colored beads. One, two, three, four, five, seven strands. Peach colored beads. The lobster claw clasp. Molded in place. I don't know if the clasp book cleans up. Well, it's nice and lightweight, but it um, covers a lot of ground, so it might be of interest to somebody. It would. I don't know what else you could do with it. I don't repurpose many plastic beads. Um, this necklace. Um, let's see if we can... get it all to play nicely so that we can figure out there's always a good side and a bad side to these there that one belongs all right maybe they all belong that way okay well it's not really worth my time to figure out how this got all twisted up but it's twisted up so that like this one should be in the front and it's missing one there and maybe something back there it's hard to tell so this is could got lots of little bits of chain and rings and things maybe some of the plastic beads are worth saving these round ones these ones with the faceting on them they just look scratched and and well worn so they're probably not useful unless they like they wouldn't even look good in a in a, in a wind chime because they're not going to reflect the sunlight they're not glass so for parts and here's the other piece that made a big clunk and I don't know where it goes but I like it it's kind of a bronze color just needs a chain or appropriate, you know, beaded, a couple of beaded strands or whatever. And a uh, nice necklace. So, a um, bunch of single earrings I'm going to wait. And I'll show you then when I get their, their uh, pairs. But we have lots of things in here. Here, let's do this one more thing. Because this is kind of cool. And then we'll all sign off. So this is a bracelet. 
and it's got this paisley design on it and obviously it's missing something because maybe it was a necklace but whatever made it into a whatever it was is no longer there so yeah you can see the broken edges oh what a mystery because this would I mean look at how nice and bracelet this would make maybe <laughs> Maybe I was meant to get this so I could repurpose it into a bracelet. I have clasps. Well, there's a mystery. We'll leave you with that item. And uh, we'll be back next time. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastime. And here is this great big bowl of jewelry. See you then. Have a great day.